Hello, this is Dr. Master Ditch, and this is part two of the Understanding Crack Tooth series. And uh, in this series, I'm going to look at the simple fractures in the enamel and their ramifications. Um, we're going to go back up to our diagram, and uh, this happens to be a case of uh, an elderly gentleman that came in, and his concern, he had been in another office, and his concern that he was given a treatment plan for uh, crowning his, uh, all his front teeth because of fracturing. Uh, he was told that the fractures were of significance and that he would be losing these teeth if the fractures weren't covered with crowns. As you can see in this tooth, you can see multiple fractures. There's fractures coming up here. He's chipped off a little bit here. There may be a, a fracture coming across horizontally. And if we look closely, we can, uh, up at this incised ledge, or the edge of the tooth, the biting edge of the tooth, we can see this fracture coming down through here. On the inside, if you just look at it um, casually, you can see this fracture coming up here, fracture here, fracture here. And you would think, my goodness, this tooth is going to fall apart and the diagnosis is correct. However, if we come across back over to this diagram that we showed in section one, you can see that this enamel is up here and all these fractures happen to be tracing into, just into the enamel and they're not really into the dentin part of the tooth, which means that, um, when you come back over to the right side again, you can see that this fracture is coming through the enamel right to here. This layer is the dentin right here and this fracture stops right here at the enamel and this fracture comes up and stops here. So in reality, this tooth is not um, in jeopardy of breaking. Here's a close-up of this. You can see the little piece off here and here. So I think the, the correct diagnosis here is, yes, if you wanted to have these teeth crowned because of improving aesthetics, uh, that would be appropriate. Uh, having them crowned or trying to get protection on these teeth because they're going to be breaking in half is not exactly true. Now, we see uh, enamel fractures at, and cuspal fractures um, very, very routinely in the office. Coming back our, to our um, cross-sectional diagram again, um, here's the enamel, here's the dentin, and if the fracture comes down through the enamel, traces into the dentin, it can come out horizontally or it can come out obliquely. In this particular situation, it came down and it came out um, obliquely and down, but it, it was just above the gum line. Although this fracture on first looking it would look like this is a very serious situation, this tooth can actually be restored quite nicely and has very good prognosis. The second case I'll show you is it very similar. This one came down and came out horizontally. There's still uh, plenty of tooth here to work with to um, restore the tooth um, very, in a very strong manner. If you'll notice that both of these teeth had large fillings on them, and in the next section, I'm going to talk about uh, several back cases of back teeth, posterior teeth, that have large fillings that have fractures secondary to the effect that the filling has on weakening the tooth and uh, causing the fracture. Thank you.